So you want to run surround monitors for your gaming setup and you don't know how. This episode of Fast as Possible seeks to show you what you need to run triple monitors on either a Radeon graphics card or a GeForce graphics card. For Radeon cards, the requirements are pretty simple. You have to have a 5000 series card and you have to have three monitors that are all running the same resolution and refresh rate in order to span the displays across the multiple monitors. The last thing you'll also need is an active adapter. So most monitors these days don't support DisplayPort natively, but the cards can only output two DVI or HDMI signals at a time. So you'll need to pick yourself up an active DisplayPort or mini DisplayPort to HDMI or DVI adapter to make sure that the card will be able to output all three displays. NVIDIA's requirements are a little bit more complicated. The minimum card requirement is a GTX 260, however, if you're running surround off of a 260, you'll need to have two of them because the 260 doesn't have any DisplayPort outputs. All right, guys, so the first cards that can output single card NVIDIA surround are 600 series cards, and you need to make sure they have at least one DisplayPort output because just like the AMD cards, they can only do two from DVI or HDMI in a surround configuration. NVIDIA also requires you to have three identical monitors in order for surround to run flawlessly, but the cool thing about NVIDIA is that if you run three surround 3D monitors, you can actually game in stereoscopic 3D with your surround setup. Because the NVIDIA configuration rules are a little bit trickier, they do have a config tool on their website that you can check out to find out if your system is compatible with NVIDIA surround. Once you've got your latest drivers installed and you enable surround in the driver, remember with AMD it's called Ifinity and with NVIDIA it's called NVIDIA surround, it's just a matter of what your default options are. AMD by default sets up your desktop to be one large display. So if you were to say for example maximize a program, it would automatically fill your entire three screens. You can manually configure smaller virtual desktops inside of your full size desktop though if you don't want say for example a web page to have a little Google link in the middle and then a bunch of wait space on the side. NVIDIA by default sets up three virtual displays within your entire multi-monitor setup. So it's just a little bit different in terms of how they're configured. In games though, for either solution, you want to make sure that you're setting it to your maximum resolution, whether that's 5760 by 1080 or whatever other resolution your monitors are running at times three. As always guys, don't forget to subscribe to Tech Quickie, don't forget to like the video and share it with anyone who you think might benefit from this information. If you have any ideas for future fast as possible episodes, leave them in the suggestion forum, which is linked in the description of the video.